Away days are back. Our second away game of the season in the league. Also, I didn't go to Hull because I was on holiday. It was a 12.30 kickoff to start the season. That one will draw. Since then, we've beaten Millwall 4-3 in a ridiculously uh, dramatic, nervous, I can't think of the other words to describe it, but I'll leave it linked up there. It was absolutely nuts. Uh, Scott Twine, obviously, with the winner on that one. And then last weekend, we drew one on with Coventry. Casey Palmer coming back to haunt us a little bit. So, yeah, make sure you go and check out those videos. But we got three then a bit thousand, I think, or maybe 3,100-ish City fans Headed up to Derby today. A lot of us tried to buy Oasis tickets on the way, um, so that'll be fun. I'm off to go to the Weatherspoons next to Temple Mead to get a breakfast, and then my train's about half nine. Oasis tickets go on sale at nine, so that's mission one for the day. And then the second mission is to get to Derby and hopefully see the city win. Go on, the boys. We've made it to Birmingham on the train. Oasis tickets are secured, so that's all good. The Peroni's going down the tree. We're halfway to uh, halfway to Derby now. We're chewing there in about about an hour maybe. So yeah, let's get up there. Come on. Shocking, really. We've just not been able to finish our dinner. To be fair, Shocking's probably a bit harsh. We've been all right. My voice is gone, as you can probably tell. Uh, we've had the chat, it's not put them away. Darby get one good chat, bang, bottom corner. Off the corner, but hey, look. Here's one of the record. Second half, get my Yulu and Mertie on, and we might be all right.
Well, that was just really bad, wasn't it, really? Um, we were just absolutely dire for the most part. Um, we had one or two chances early on, but probably should have taken one at least, maybe with Armstrong. And as soon as Derby sussed us out, we got that first goal. The second half was just absolutely atrocious. Max Bird, Jason Knight, I think, were probably a little bit shook up by going back to Pride Park. Neither of them had a very good game by their standards at all. Williams have got bullied in midfield. And that third goal especially, our midfield was just non-existent. It was shocking. But, um, hey, what can you do? we got the international break now to hopefully work on some stuff, maybe get McNally into the side, get a couple of players back from injury. Hirakawa came on, which was nice to see. Um, he looked all right, went out a corner early on. He didn't really get on the pool a whole lot, to be fair. But when he did, he did all right. Um... But yeah, we got the international break. Then we got Blackburn, where I won't be. I'm going to Brighton versus Ipswich that day, so you'll have that video instead. Uh, then we got Oxford and Swansea, which I'll be at. So yeah, let's uh, hope that we turn it back round after the international break, because it's now what two wins, one draw. No, sorry, two draws, one win, and a loss from our opening four games. It's not ideal, but it's not terrible. Um, but we need to go on a little bit of a run, ideally after the international break. We got a pretty favourable run of fixtures. Blackburn aren't great. Oxford aren't great. Swansea aren't great. So hopefully that can be like three wins or at least seven points, like two wins and a draw. But yeah, let's see where we end up. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.